God. This is bad. <laughs> oh, this is bad. What do you mean? Rhino, Rhino told me it'd get bad. <laughs> really? Yeah. <laughs> You're my new favorite skater. <laughs> Welcome to the club. <laughs> <laughs> How did you guys meet? I love your dynamic. It's amazing. Uh, yeah, this is, this is odd. Sure. All right. This I'll, is odd, but I love it. <laughs> I'll tell you the story. Oh God. Sorry, after, I'm done, after I'm done crying. <laughs> I don't, he rode for Nike, and I was going to Phoenix, or I'm sorry, not Phoenix, uh, Tampa Am, and I'd always go by myself. I had gotten hurt, and I needed to ride back, and like Andy Henry was working at Nike at the time, and, yeah, and he was like, I'll take you back, whatever. And Abby was on the bus, and Abby's like sitting there, like, you know, like, you know, like, like glisten in his eye, just like, I'm Bobby Taylor. <laughs> it's like, we're all like little kids, like, you know, like everyone's at their first tamp or whatever. I'm like, what's up, man? I'm Tom, you know? He's like, yeah, I'm Bobby. I'm like, he's like, I'm hoping I'm gonna meet a girl tonight. I'm like, yeah, I hope, man, like get fucking laid. Like, he's like, yeah, I'm a virgin. <laughs> I was just like, and I was like, <laughs> you know, I was like a year younger, I was like, you're a virgin? Like, oh, okay, like, that's cool, man. Like, and I, and I, I was like, how are you a virgin? You're like 20 years old, like, that was weird for me. I, I was just, and I felt bad. It was by choice. It was by, it was by choice for yeah, him. That's good. <laughs> I and wanted to wait until I had a girlfriend. And I just was intrigued by, you were so, I wasn't intrigued that you were like a vert. I didn't care about that, but that you were so open yeah. to like tell me that you were a virgin. Cause most kids would like, even if they weren't, they'd lie. But I didn't, I, I, I didn't, res I didn't, I'm not making fun of this story. I'm actually, I had a lot of respect for him at the time. And I, I didn't tell you that when we were driving here. I forgot. Thanks. <laughs> <laughs> but I had a lot of res talk before this. <laughs> I had a res I had respect because he told me the truth right out the gates. Like didn't even know yeah. me. Like didn't like didn't cool guy. Yeah, it didn't cool guy. It. And so did, have you ever crossed paths with Grasso? Have you met him? Because he's like such a you know you look up to him and stuff. Or? Oh, and that's just like the thing. It's like when we when we talk about like Grasso, it's like dude, like. I almost have a bigger crush on him than I have on Lizzie. <laughs> like, I saw Grasso at the coffee, and he was just sitting there, and I was going to ask him for his autograph. I was going to go up, and I was like, it was the first person, the first pro skater that I was kind of like, oh, like, because I, I know, I don't know, you're just all people. And the more you're in this game, the more you realize that they're just people. Right. And Grasso would be the first to say, I'm just people. Yeah. You know, Grasso sucks. Fucking, yeah. he, he's a shit-talking maniac. Yeah. But he can, he dishes it out and he can take it. I think that's what was cool is like the whole thing at the combi, like I respect him for his skating and just kind of like how he carries himself. It's, it's funny to me. I don't know, just, just with the inverts and stuff, he really got me inspired to learn how to do them properly and try to stall them out, which I'm still kind of falling short of the mark, but Grasso's rad. You, I, I go to, I've been to Washington Street my fair, fair amount of times, and that place to me is the most difficult place to skate, I think on the, out of any skate park ever, anywhere. Have you ever skated another park or another spot in the world that's that's harder than that? I mean, of they're all hard when I write, when I get there because I've never been there before. But like Burnside to do to skate Burnside correctly mm -hmm. is very difficult. Like you can go there and skate Burnside and go there and push and film a trick, but to actually like get lines at Burnside without pushing and actually using the park properly, that's definitely. I would say Burnside's harder because it's more spread out with less little areas yeah. to catch speed off of. Sure. So I would say Burnside's gnarlier. Really? Yeah. Just like, just because the, pr like, you know, at all these parks, there's proper ways to ride them. Yeah. You know, like y y y to go to Burnside, you should go there and try and do like a full run there without pushing. And like, there's like a line, like you drop it on the crow's nest, air over the thing, hit the, hit the bank to wall. Keep speed all the way throughout the All the way through yeah. the park, yeah. you know? And that's like, that place is really hard to do it at, yeah. Okay, so all these interviews I've read about you, every single interview mentions that you have Asperger's. So that, that's, a, you know, I'm going to just play Jerry Seinfeld's card because <laughs> he has it too. Really? <laughs> yeah, but he came out. You're as um, funny as on, Jerry Seinfeld. Huh? Yeah. You're as funny as you Jerry are. Seinfeld. Funnier. Yeah. Well, but <laughs> in our world, you are. You are sure. the Jerry Seinfeld of skateboarding. Public, it might not be. But yeah, you Bobby are. Bobby Seinfeld. Right. They're, they're, the thing is, is that he talks about it's off the spectrum. Right. You know, they, they classified Asperger's as like, um, it was a high functioning autistic disorder. Sure. A spectrum, an autism spectrum disorder characterized by significant difficulties in social interaction, nonverbal communication, 
And I'm like, dude, I fucking probably have Asperger's. Like, I'm a exactly. social weirdo. Well, yeah. and that was the thing, too, is it fucked me over because, you know, I thought I had something wrong with me when I was a kid and it made me feel like an alien. And then I was homeschooled on top of that and I was an only child on top of that. So I had, like, kind of just, like, a weird, you know, complex, like, where I just felt a little different. And I, and I still... Maybe you are a little different, but that doesn't mean you have Asperger's. But that's there. the thing. I don't think it means that. And if it does, then maybe it's something good. Yeah. But... I still think that it's just an armchair diagnosis because I don't, you know, I don't feel like there's anything really different with me and I'm not really Rain Man. I can't go to the casino and walk out with $20,000. Shit, that's what we were hoping. There's we were no, about to head right there. There's not really that much extra skills here. There's just this. And like, I lose shit all the time. I can't keep a phone or a fucking charger. Like there's definitely nothing spectacular about me having Asperger's. If there is such a thing. But the problem what I was getting at was that that interview, they were like, what's something unusual about you? And being a kid, I was like, oh, oh well, there's this thing about, you know, I got Asperger's apparently. Yeah. And, I, you know, I don't take medication for it. I don't take any medicine. You know, I didn't realize that it was going to make people feel weird about me. And, like, some of the stuff that, like, like I've read in the message boards and stuff is people always bring it up. Like, he's, you know, he's real good at skating. Um... And he has Asperger's. Like, I'm like, what? <laughs> like, like, you've overcome this. Would you give up half of what you know on a skateboard today if you get seven minutes in a closet with Lizzie? Uh, no. I can't give up my skateboard for anything. Or, or like. What about the tech side of it? Because you grew up like a tech, techy little park yeah, I could, kid. I right? suppose I could let all that fall Would off she? the wayside of the skateboard with her for the rest of my life. <laughs> Maybe you can have like a backyard bowl. No, how about, lose how about all the, your all right, let's let's be again. realistic. Would you well, would you give up your switch heel flip? Yeah, because you have a good one. Because you have the great switch heel flip. Would you give that up for? That's, for a night, I don't want to say with Lizzie. And, uh, uh, no, because yeah. you know, just need that. <laughs> still, still has a Why use. does it have to go back to poor Lizzie? We already covered a great. I, I would I'm give up my wondering. switch heel flip. I would. You give up your switch heel flip for it? That's no, man. That's I've that's done good. it for so long, dude. Wow. And right here, that's what's Switch heels yeah. come and go, but you know, love lasts forever. <laughs> <laughs> that's all I gotta say. <laughs>